Welcome to the MCAL 2022 kit reveal. We've been working really hard with all our dyers this year to give you a whole rainbow of MCAL mystery kit palettes. And all of these kits, I'm going to give you a preview, and they'll all be at Stephen and Penelope on September 3rd. So September 3rd at 4 p.m. Amsterdam time, you can collect your kit and your little goodie bag and all the materials you need to make this year's mystery shawl. The knitting starts October 6th. But the most important day for now to remember is September 3rd, is the kit launch. And I'm going to start by sharing our little goodie bag that comes with every single kit. So any official kit that you get at Stephen and Penelope comes with our You're a Knitter Baby little bucket tote. And I just love these little drawstring totes so much. They have a handle and a little drawstring tab and a few pockets inside. And with each of those little buckets, you're going to get a needle gauge, uh, MCAL 2022 official sticker and a really cute fold over tag that you can sew on to your finished mystery shawl. But let's talk about color. When you're looking for colors for the kit launch, just grab something that strikes you and it's all about contrast, okay? So here's one of the new brands we've been working with this year at Stephen and Penelope. And I wanted to go really high contrast with these kits. So you have these beautiful semi-solid tones from Neighborhood Fiber Company. Up here at the top, we've got Broadway Observatory. And this is a really good kit style to go with that's gonna really pop with this accent color, and you have a main color and contrast color. So this year's shawl is all about a main color, a contrast color, two skeins of each, and then an accent color is gonna spice up the color palette. So neutrals with a pop is a really good way to go with that Broadway Observatory kit. Canton Bel Air, got a pop, 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 main color, contrast, accent color. Federal Oliver, this is another kind of neutrally moment with a bright fuchsia pop. Georgetown Concord, for you purple lovers, you can go all juicy with your colors. Get two skeins main, two skeins contrast, one skein of a flashy accent color. Rosemont Reservoir is this beautiful teal, navy, sagey green palette. And Sandtown Victorian. I got a lot of pink and purple options for you pink and purple lovers. So this is just a few of the kits that we'll have from Neighborhood Fiber Company. And this is their singles base. So it's a rustic, organic, merino fingering weight base. So you're going to need fingering weight yarn, five skeins, main color, contrast color, two and two, one accent color. Don't worry about which one's the main and which one's the contrast. That's for October, okay? September is all about collecting your yarns and getting inspired by these beautiful colors. When you're picking out your kit for the Twists and Turns mystery shawl, think about contrast. We have a main color, accent color, contrast color, so think a little bit like Starflake. This was one of the mystery shawls that had a main color and a contrast color, so think it's going to be like Starflake in terms of the color relationship, but with a bonus accent color. This was two main, two contrast, no accent but we need an accent with this year's shawl. So here's another kind of color palette style to look for with your main color, contrast color, accent color. You gotta have something in the palette that's a little bit of a flash, a little bit or a lot of bit of a pop. So these are all uh, hand dyed yarns from Susladil. It's a Danish dyer that we just started carrying at Stephen and Penelope in their beautiful singles base. And these options are a really good way to work with speckles. I recommend solid, semi-solid, slightly speckled yarns for this year's mystery shawl. So if you do work with speckles, like this beautiful green garden kit, get a main color, contrast, make sure there's a little bit of a difference between those two colors, and let your accent color be a flashy statement to the overall piece. You're mostly going to see the main color and accent, or the main color and contrast color. That's what most of the shawl's going to be, and the accent color is the embellishment the little star that makes an entrance and plays a little bit with the other colors. It's the focal point little feature moment. But main color, contrast color, accent. We have Green Garden. This is Raspberry Love, a really soft pastel neutral with that raspberry pop. Raspberry Sunshine is a really playful light and creamy palette with a little bit of yellow and then a lot of sunshine yellow for that accent color. Down here we have Rusty Gray. This is more of a subtle option, and a good way to see if you're gonna get contrast in your palette is if you take a picture or take one of our kit photos, take a picture of your yarn and put a black and white filter over it. And if you still see some contrast between the colors, then you're gonna get really crisp contrast in the shawl. 
If the contrast is a little more subtle, that's okay too. It's just going to be a little more subtle, more soft and sophisticated type of color relationship. But when in doubt, go really crispy with your contrast. But if you like it more soft and not as loud and in your face, then go with some subtle speckles and a moody, rustic color pop for your accent color. Rusty Gray, Sangria Daybed is a beautiful kind of garden inspired pinky purple color palette. And True Gray, some really steel cold grays with that flashy royal blue. Life in the Long Grass is another one of our singles bases. So if you choose a kit like the Life in the Long Grass kits that are with the Merino singles, you're going to get that really drapey, lustrous, shiny, flowy effect to your shawl. You can use any type of fingering weight yarn, no matter if it's plied or single ply. But I just love these single ply yarns because they really soak up the color. So Life in the Long Grass, we have these beautiful options. Here at the top, we have Agate Dawn, a really warm berry combination with a surprising icy blue accent color. My personal favorite, this is Antique Coral. You can go really contrasty with your color families in the same shawl. And we've got Ceramic Moon, focusing on the blues, light, medium, dark, nice contrast for Ceramic Moon. Mythical Snow, this one's a surprising color because you've got this light in the dark and this beautiful chartreuse lime grello that comes out of nowhere and that's going to play really nicely with these other colors. Mythical Snow, Stellar Stone, a really high contrast, neutral with a royal blue pop, Stellar Stone, and, and Parasol Crush. For you purple lovers, this is all purple, all saturated, light and dark, contrasting together for your main and contrast color with another purple. You can never have too much purple for your accent color. So that's Life in the Long Grass Singles. A lot of beautiful nature-inspired, subtly speckled colors uh, from that brand. All of the kits I've showed so far are with a singles base, but like I said, you can use any fingering weight yarn, and plied yarns are going to give you a little bit more stitch structure and more pronounced details in the texture of twists and turns, whatever that means. So all of our undercover otter kits are with the Eventide base, which is a custom base to Stephen and Penelope, and it's really, really soft. It's got merino, yak, and silk, so it's drapey with the silk, heathered gray fibers with the yak, and super soft merino. It's one of the softest, slick, smooth bases we have, so if you're a little bit fiber sensitive, I would definitely go for one of the undercover otter kits because it's going to be, without a doubt, drapey, crispy, shiny, soft. Any good thing about yarn is in this one. So these are all the eight palettes we have from Undercover Otter. Up here at the top is Rosemary Woods, really teal aqua tones. Cameron Society is really, really moody. And these are both dark colors for the main color and the contrast. So if you're going a little similar in the tones of your color, if they're a bit close in contrast, then lean into the solid color choices. I wouldn't do busy speckles that are both really dark for those colors, but that's going to look really nice with those solid yarns. Cameron Society, Slumber Bruce, Neutrals with a purple pop, Below Citadel for you blue and green lovers, Brundle Party, a really high contrast, fun and flirty, uh, bright color combination, and then that was Brundle Party. Ghost Tomatoes is really warm and rustic. And I just love this rusty orange color called Unreturned. It's one of my favorite colorways from Undercover Otter. It just glows off of that silk skein. That's Ghost Tomatoes. Below Leviathan, another steely blue navy with another blue for that accent color. That's going to be really nice and subtle in the blue color family and Haunted Fester, neutrals with a beautiful gold pop. So all of these are going to give you really nice, distinct contrast in the shawl with that silky glow from the Eventide fingering weight yarn base. Well, we're about halfway through with the kits. Uh, are you getting inspired yet? Do you have a favorite color palette that you have your eye on? It's always good to have like an option one, option two, option three. So when you log on to the page, you can forget about all your options and fall in love with something new that <laughs> you see on the kit launch. So all these kits I'm showing, they'll be September 3rd at stephenandpenelope.com. September 3rd, and we have a couple new dyers as well that we're including this year, and one of them is Old Maiden Aunt, a dyer out of Scotland, and it's a really interesting base because it has some bamboo in it. 
So it's a little bit cooler with that bamboo quality, but what that bamboo fiber does is it gives it that nice kind of slinky drape with the merino still giving it that body. So we have two palettes from Old Maid and Aunt. This first one is called Kelpie Owl. This is the Kelpie colorway. It's just the most interesting, like turquoise, patina, really, yeah, sophisticated with those undertones. And I picked up off of those warm tones with this warm orange colorway. This one's called Put On The Day, that orange. But this kit is Kelpie Owl, and I went really warm with these kits because it's getting into fall time, that crisp, warm uh, color season with all those leaves. And this other warm kit is called Peachy Kiss. So you're gonna get this gorgeous, subdued, main color, contrast color interaction, and then a fiery coral kiss to the palette, a peachy kiss. So I love those warm options. So all of these bases are plied, and whenever I'm working with a plied yarn, that shawl is going to last a lot longer. It's, it's not as delicate as some of the single ply fibers can be sometimes. So it really has crisp stitch definition and yeah, the shawls last forever. So this is the Urban Pearl and it's their Lux High Twist Base. And if you like silk, this is another option for you silk lovers. It's a 80% merino, 20% silk blend. And we have Rune Obsession is the first palette a really subtle combination. So if you don't like things too loud, too in your face, Rune Obsession is gonna give you a really soft, just kissed with contrast moment. And the second palette we have is Heart Sunset. So if you love red and love that dramatic uh, dr uh, red shade, then that Rune Heart palette is gonna give you a lot of that warmth and fiery feeling for a nice autumn shawl. So that's Heart Sunset, and then Mominoki. This was the yarn I knit with last year's shawl, and we put some beautiful new color palettes together from them. Up here is Copper Cherry. Beautiful warm neutrals, and it's a little bit of a pinky peachy kiss to this beige tone. Uh, the Copper Cherry, and a beautiful wine burgundy tone for that accent color. Down here we have Mocha Cherry. They're definitely brown, but it has a little bit of like a khaki greenish tint. So they're really uh, subtle neutrals in here and a little bit of a green tint in that dark color as well and a bright leafy green for the accent color. And then the other one we have is Mystic Silver for you blue lovers. This one is especially good, I think, if you love wearing denim and just nice, cool, steel-toned blues, this is gonna look great with some Great denim for the fall and a little bit of a sky blue pop right there. Mystic Silver. Terry and Brian from At Haynes House dyed three kits for us this year and I wanted to find the best wine purple palette, the best blue palette, and the best autumn palette. And I think I did it. What do you think? So up here we have this beautiful rustic autumn color story and I just love how crispy the contrast is going to be with this one with the dark the tree bark brown as the main color, the gold autumn leaves as the contrast color, and a rusty, fiery, crispy leaf as that accent color. This is just gonna jump out of the palette and make a beautiful, warm, cozy fabric. This is called Curry Leaves, this kit. And then if you like icy, cool tones, they just do the most beautiful blues and I got this icy light one, and this is a subtle purple tinted blue, and then this is just the most blue you can get. This is called Wake Up Ice, and it's really icy and just really slick with those gorgeous blues. And then Sadie Eyes is this pinky, mauvey, purpley, berry, silvery, gray, just all those yummy tones for you purple lovers. And I love them, how they look together, so I think I would do that one. I need one of my purple friends to knit this along with me and then a little trio knit along with my blue loving knitting friend. So that's the fun part about the mystery shawl is you can pick your favorite kit or get one and a backup one for your friend and then we get to knit along and see all these different color palettes knit up into the same shawl. So it's so much fun just to pick your color style and then get inspired by what other color styles that people pick as well. So at Haynes House, you have these three beautiful options from them, and they're all dyed on a really slinky and soft singles base. So it's 100% merino, and it's a single ply fingering weight yarn. You get about 400 yards for each 100 gram skein, but it's your standard single ply, 
a good go-to yarn that's going to be really drapey, extra soft, and gives that little shimmery quality to highlight the twists and the turns and the funky textures that might happen in this year's shawl. Last year's shawl, we did five colors, and this year you only need to pick out three colors, but remember that accent color. You only need one skein of the accent color. So with the twists and turns shawl, I think it's a really good opportunity to embrace the color pop, because if you only do a color pop for your accent color, it's gonna really jump out of some nice neutrals. So with these walk collection kits, I really wanted to focus a lot of neutral tones in the color choices. And then you'll notice this accent color on top can be the statement color. So you can go more calm with the main color and the contrast color and just let that accent color be the star of the show. Up here we have asphalt pool, some cool grays and a really fun swimming pool aqua blue. Pink blush, soft pink, crazy bright pink, and a nice blush pink for that accent color. Wolf camel for you neutral lovers. Kind of cool grays are mixed with warm beige camel brown tones. Mica plum, beautiful browns with a purple pop. Golden greyhound, patina moss. This is one of the more subtle combinations. You're gonna get a little bit of blending with that interaction. You'll see mostly those colors for the whole shawl, but then this deep olive jungle green comes into play for that patina moss. I think that's gonna be really moody and super cozy for the mystery shawl. And the midnight stone. For you neutral lovers, you don't have to have a color pop. Gray can be your color pop. And if you love gray, then just embrace all the shades of gray and let that soft gray tonality be what jumps out from all the other crazy neon MCAL shawls that we see pop up during this knit along. So there's no right or wrong. Definitely do a color pop though. Do a color pop, especially for your accent color. But yeah, you're allowed to call any color your color pop. But do a color pop, do a color pop. Okay, La Bienname lovers, we didn't forget about you. We have some beautiful speckles and lots of really intense semi-solids. So all of these La Bienname kits are dyed on the Super Sock base, which is the same base I used for my Starflake from a few years ago, and it still looks brand new. It's such a crispy, hard-wearing type of yarn with a little bit of nylon in there. So this plied yarn is really nice and matte in its appearance, so it's not as shiny as those single ply yarns. It's more matte, very crispy, and very drapey with several plies of yarn spun around each other. So enough about yarn fiber uh, construction talk. Let's look at the colors. So here we have a diehard pink fanatic choice for you. This is Fluoro Sansa, and it has that Fluoro Morganite colorway, one of my favorites, with this color, As If, is the name of that color. So Fluoro Sansa, really pink, really soft, and just a little subtle accent color here. And for you purple lovers, Flying Jelly, beautiful speckles, really high contrast, and that juicy, yummy accent color. Rust Toki, the most beautiful rusty speckles and all those speckles kind of bring the accent color together. A gorgeous glowing rust color pop, Rust Toki. Jasper Moorlands is more on the like aqua turquoisey tone. So there's a little bit of a green tint to it, but it's definitely blue overall with that light, dark, and the bright accent color. Hella Dawn, this is the Hella colorway, really bright, really warm, and then these beautiful, murky, moody, soft, warm tones for Hella Dawn. And I had to go for my custom color. This is the Westnitz Goes to Paris colorway. It's one of my favorite colors because it brings in all these speckles and you can really play off the tones of that Westnitz Goes to Paris colorway. So this kit is called Coco Royale with the cocoa color the Blue Royale color, and they all get referenced in that beautiful West Knits Goes to Paris color. So that's gonna be a really fun high contrast with the cocoa. And I thought that these palettes were a little bit too nice. You know, they, they look good, they're all in the same color families, they've got the pop, so I needed to pop the pop with another pop. And you can do things like this. This is the West Knits J Kim color palette with the West Knits Goes to Paris color, the J Kim color pop, and this beautiful as if pink 
So for you crazy color lovers, you just go bold with your pops and another pop and speckles, and you're gonna get great contrast with all those bold choices. So these are the La Bienne Aimee options and a really great soft super sock base. Ching Fiber Dashing Sassy is our last batch of kits and it's a super soft merino single ply base. This is one of our custom bases at Stephen and Penelope and it's also one of the softest. It's a really fine micron count merino, buttery soft. So these are the gorgeous palettes we have from Ching Fiber and I wanted to go a little bit more soft with these kits because Ching has some really unique, subtle, pastel neon types of tones. So we have purples, yellows, golds, and I went really playful with the combinations. So up here at the top we have Cyclone Lilac, one of the more subtle kits. It's going to be quite blendy and more soft with a little purple pop. Red Piglet is going to be a dramatic, flashy, warm palette. And this is the Red Maple colorway, one of our custom colors from Ching, and it is on fire. The Red Piglet. I really like this Latte Lemonade palette because it's really harmonious with a soft main color, contrast color re in relationship. And then the green is going to really stand out from those Latte Lemonade tones. Titanium Whale is a really soft sea blue palette. Malachite Olea is for you green lovers. I just love this cucumber bright green tone and with this dark murky green, those are gonna have a really nice striking contrast and this murky olive tone is gonna just give you green lovers something to freak out over during the mystery knit along. I love that combo. Malachite Olea, Maple Aspen. This has two of our custom colors, really autumnal, really light, very warm, and Thistle Lightning. We needed something for you pastel lovers, and this is just the most beautiful, sweet little combination, and this is the Lightning colorway, and I just love all these light, bright tones, and because they're all light, they're solid. So if you have colors that are all quite similar, then try to go a little more into the solid range when you're picking your colors. But Thistle Lightning, I think that's gonna be a really sweet, a subtle, light, bright combination. So those are all the Ching Fiber Dashing Sassy kits. And if you don't know which one is your favorite, it's good to have a first option, a second option, and a third option of ones from this video. So when the kits launch on September 3rd, you can have like a list of the kit names that you like and then you can find them on the kit page or search for them in the search tab and they'll all pop up on September 3rd at 4 p.m. Amsterdam time. So all of those kits are gonna be available at stephenandpenelope.com on September 3rd. That's the first date to think about. Set your alarm clocks, 4 p.m. Amsterdam time. That's like 10 a.m. on the East Coast. And uh, if you want a reminder, you can sign up for our newsletter at Stephen and Penelope, and you'll get a reminder newsletter update with some more uh, kit photos. And uh, if you're participating, the cast on is October 6th. So when you collect your yarn, you can sign up by getting the twists and turns pattern on Ravelry or at westnits.com, twists and turns. Just get that pattern anytime before October 6th, and that's when we start knitting. So collect your kit September 3rd, we'll ship it, get it to you in time before the knit along starts, and then you get to anticipate what we're gonna knit on October 6th. Is it gonna be the craziest shawl I've ever made? Probably, maybe. There always has to be something new in it, and it's the time to learn something new. There'll be video tutorials along the whole way. So get your friends together, get some colors to inspire you, and let's get excited for the twists and turns. MCAL, are you ready? Let me know what your favorite palette was and what you think is gonna be in this year's shawl. Twists and turns, what is it gonna be? Let me know, and I'll see you in the next video.